Hey guys, it's Christine and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another episode of me possibly dyeing my hair because it is my unhealthy coping mechanism and it makes me feel better about myself. Just to spice things up, I will also be doing a Q&A while dyeing my hair and I know I'm not relevant enough to do one but you know, I don't know, that's what we're going to do today so just suck it up. I'm excited and nervous at the same time because I'm going to be trying a different color. I'm going to be dyeing my hair blue and I'm using Technicolor Manila Semi-Permanent Dye in the shade Sapphire. I've tried this brand before. It's the first semi-permanent dye that I've tried and I must say, I'm really impressed with this brand because it's long-lasting, it's soft on my hair, and it's cheap also. It's only 180 pesos. Also, I'm going to be hosting another giveaway, this time for my fellow CCOs or those people who like to color their hair. I'm going to be giving away one tiny color Manila semi-permanent dye in the shade Cosmic and two variants of Salawax, the blue one and the violet one. I've tried their violet one before and grabe guys, sobrang long lasting nito and sobrang pigmented. I swear this will last you 2 months, 3 months, forever. So I really recommend their violet one. If you're interested in winning this, just stay tuned until the end of this video. I don't know kung ano yung smell niya but it doesn't smell bad. Para sa yung mga ginagamit sa poster making contest. Let's see my hair is so oh my god. Oh my god. This is so scary. By the way, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram stories. Fortunately, madami na mga nagtanong. So thank you so much for those people. I really appreciate it. Now we're going to proceed on answering the first question. First question, Sino ang mga inspiration mo sa fashion style mo? Love your accent when you speak English. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your comment about my English accent. As for your question, I get my inspiration when it comes to fashion sa Pinterest mostly. Also, TikTok. I follow Best Dressed Ashley. She's a fashion YouTuber. I really love her style. But most of the time, I just mix and match my clothing pieces. Ganyan. Speaking of, I really miss dressing up. How to deal with insecurities? I don't know if I'm the right person to answer that question because I'm a very insecure human being. Especially before, like... I really, really hate the way I look. I really hated myself na minsan I would cry myself to sleep, ganyan. Because of how I look like, I really hated how I look like. Pero I can say na I've grown quite confident. Kahit konti, I've grown quite confident. Siguro for me, one of the things that helped me kind of overcome my insecurities is just faking it until I make it. Just validate yourself this is easier said than done but really it all starts with self-love eh. and you know it really helped me because once na you start focusing on yourself and not about what others might think about you just validating yourself again and again that like you're valid you're beautiful in that way matutulungan mo yung sarili mo and makakondition mo yung sarili mo to accept your own flaws also, makeup really helped me. Hindi naman sa fine-fake ko yung mukha ko or fine-fake ko yung appearance ko, but it makes me gain confidence. So, why not do it? If it makes you feel better about yourself, why not do it, diba? Don't mind what society tells you. Just do the things that makes you feel better about yourself that makes you feel more confident about yourself. For example, this one, I'm dyeing my hair. Even if a lot of people are against it, I'm doing it for myself because it makes me feel pretty. Siguro one of the things I was starting to point out is that society capitalizes on women's insecurities. Don't let capitalism win. Hindi ko alam kung helpful ba yun. Pero yun niya. Don't let anyone tell you 
that you're not pretty and at the same time do the things that will make you feel better about yourself. Yun lang naman. Any plans for the remaining months of 2020? It's already November 2 and we only have 2 months left for 2020. Nasa bahay lang ako and siguro plans ko until December is focus on my studies because I'm currently a second year college student and create more content for you guys. Wow! Gusto mo yun, YouTuber ka girl? Next question! How's your love life? I wanna tell you guys, my love life is doing great. I've never been in such a healthy relationship. I'm in a really happy place right now. Um, I have five boyfriends. <laughs> Namely, Daiki, Shintaro, Bokuto, Akashi, and Levi. I'm in a healthy relationship with my anime boyfriends. Thank you so much for asking. This one, Sergio, na naman. How to cut off toxic people from your life? I know it's hard to cut someone off your life, especially if attached ka na sa kanila or they've been in your life too long. But if it's not healthy anymore, then it's the only thing to do, diba? Siguro try to communicate with them first. Tell them yung mga hard feelings mo, yung mga struggles mo. And if they're open with communication, and if they understand that, then of course they will try to change their behavior, their toxic behaviors, diba? But if it's not salvageable anymore, then just cut off your communication with them completely. And remember that there are other people who loves you, who genuinely loves you, and you will not be left alone, you know. Eto, medyo madami nagtanong, um, ano po ang favorite niyong makeup brand? First of all is Maybelline. Sobra sobrang love ko yung concealer nila, and their lipsticks, yung 24 hour stay matte lipstick nila. I really love that one. Tapos, Colorette. I love Colorette. Ang ganda ng ano mga products nila. Tapos, ang ganda pa ng advocacy nila. Squad Cosmetics, sobrang mura. And Caroline Everbilena. Ayun. Ay, ano rin pala? Detail Cosmetics. <laughs> Detail Cosmetics. Ayun. Gustong gusto ko yung mga lipsticks nila. If you are a color, what color are you and why? By the way, love your vibes, team. Keep doing you. Uh, thank you so much. So guys, please, please subscribe to Acre Ace. She's my friend. And ang gaganda rin ng content niya. I will be linking her channel below. So check that out. Siguro pink and purple. Kasi diba, I'm a very feminine person. I'm very soft-spoken. But at the same time, it's got an edge to it that I aspire to have. I want to have that edge. But at the same time, I don't want to be intimidating that people won't come to me. No, I want to be comforting but at the same time, brave and assertive. Favorite books? I love reading books. Like, bata pa lang ako. This past few years, hindi na ako masyado nakakapagbasa ng libro kasi, you know, school, ACADs, and wala na akong time. At saka, guys, sobrang... Yung attention span ko sobra, sobrang ikli na. I don't know why. Like, nahihirapan na talaga akong mag-concentrate. But I still love reading books. So, ayun. To answer your question, may recommend ko sa inyo guys, read The Song of Achilles. It's a retelling of the Battle of Troy, you know, Greek mythology, in a different perspective. It's a really good book. Sobrang nakakaiyak. Sobrang, oh my god, I really love that one. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And Perks of Being a Wallflower. I swear, that book ignited my teenage angst. <laughs> I still have a lot of books in mind like Harry Potter, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, ayun. But those are my favorite books at the top of my head. Pagsamahin ko na lang tong dalawang tanong ah. First is thoughts sa politics and thoughts sa mga kamag-anak mo that has a different political standpoint than yours and homophobes at the same time. Oh my god. Teka, nakakatakot sa rin to. I try my best to be educated with social and political issues that's happening in the world, especially in our country. Kasi guys, 
I feel like as a Filipino citizen, it is kind of our responsibility to be educated. You know, some people, na sinasabi nila na they don't uh, keep up with, you know, issues kasi nakaka-stress siya. But at the same time, you have the privilege to not speak up about it kasi hindi ka affected. You know that quote from Enola Holmes where, like, because you don't know what it is to be without power. Politics doesn't interest you. Why? Because it's fatally boring. Because you have no interest in changing a world that suits you so well. Kaya guys, I try my best talaga to be educated and to have my own opinions about it and to voice it out. Because, you know, I don't want my voice to be silent. I don't want to be silent when it comes to my country. Let's not be afraid to make conversations about it. Tapos, thoughts about relatives that are homophobes. I come from a very conservative and old-fashioned family. Conservative pa rin talaga yung thinking or yung perspective ng mga tao dito. Like, gender roles are still still there. Gender roles are still relevant. Tapos, nandun pa rin yung classic homophobia, which I am truly sick of. I consider myself an ally of the community, and I will continue fighting for their rights, for their equal rights. And yes, most of my relatives might um, disagree with me. I really want to educate them with it. And nakakasad lang kasi. The community isn't asking for much naman. They're not asking for special rights. They're asking for equal rights. I have friends who are part of the community and they're honestly the best people that I know. They have the biggest hearts and they're the greatest friends ever. And to say that they're not valid or parang hindi nyo sila bibigyan ng equal rights, it hurts me kasi nga, they deserve it. They're just asking to stop discriminating them and to give them equal rights. Alam niyo yun. And if you're a person that is against that, then I don't know. That's just sad and I don't know how to feel about it actually. Also, when it comes to sa mga political views ko, like most of my relatives have a different political opinion than mine. And uh, yes, I respect it. Okay lang naman magkaroon ng magkakaibang political views. But at the same time, please, please, please educate yourself. Wag lang tayong basta-basta bulag-bulaga na sumusunod or bulag-bulaga na umiidolo. Ilalanin muna natin yung mga taong iniidolo natin, di ba? It's okay to have different political opinions, but when it comes to supporting people that are misogynist or that tolerates extrajudicial killings, then I don't know, parang ibang usapan na yun, di ba? We can't change their mindsets. Eh? We can't change what they believe in. Pero let's really try to educate them. Or let's try to explain our sides. Nasa sa kanila na kasi yun. Kung you know, bubuksan ba nila yung isipan nila and papakinggan nila tayo. Gusto kong sabihin din sa mga nakakatanda na huwag natin i-invalidate yung opinion ng mga kabataan dahil lang bata sila. Kasi may capability na kami to think for our own. And hindi naman namin sinasabi na alam na namin lahat. Nadami pa rin naman kami dapat matutunan. Pero huwag nyo kami i-invalidate just because we're young. Sana ma-realize nyo rin na baka may mga matututunan din naman kayo if makinig kayo sa mga opinion namin. Hindi yung isasarado nyo agad yung utak nyo. Yun lang. Next question. Who is your favorite YouTube vloggers po and why? I've been into movie commentaries. So, Trina Lovell and your internet mom, Ash. They make the best movie commentaries and they're so funny. <laughs> and relatable. So yeah, I really like them. Tapos, when it comes to fashion videos naman, there's Best Dressed Ashley and Your Mom Ash. Yun. I love them. Tapos, when it comes to local YouTubers naman, there's Janina Vela. I have been subscribed to her since 2016. And there's uh, 
Not Angel. I love her. She's so funny and humorous and she also talks about social issues which is a good thing. Her videos are so aesthetic. Then Bianca Gan, I love her fashion related videos. Shempre, di naman mawabala. Ray her mar, Tony Sia, May Layup, Raiza Kontao. I love their contents ever since. That's the last question I have. So thank you so much to everyone who participated and asked me questions. Tatapusin ko lang to and I will be back with the results later. I dyed my hair and I washed it once already and here it is. I guys, lagi ko na lato siya sabi every time I dye my hair but I love this one. I love this color so much. I was actually really scared kasi hindi ko alam kung babagay ba sa akin yung blue. So parang oh my god. Look at this. Sobrang ganda niya diba? Oh my god. I'm so in love with this. I never expected that I would love this color as much as I do. And napansin ko guys, hindi talaga siya nakaka-dry ng hair. Ever since na nag-dye ako, sobrang soft na ng hair ko, sobrang dali niya nang i-manage. I'm still worried kasi baka pag nag-fade siya, it will turn into a musty green color. So, balitaan ko kayo guys. If you want to be updated, about this color and how it fades then follow me on my instagram because i will be posting my updates there sa ig stories ko hehe <laughs> i forgot to say the giveaway mechanics anyway all you gotta do is one subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell two follow my instagram account which is at cm.bc3 comment your favorite color and your instagram username below no spamming please this giveaway will last for two weeks good luck less than three I will be announcing the winners on my Instagram account, so please stay tuned. That's all for this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have video suggestions for me to do or just questions in general, don't hesitate to leave them on the comment section down below. And if you'd like to see more of me, then please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. You can also follow me on my Instagram account which is at cm.vc. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!